Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlord and today we are going to be talking about Fallout 4's new 1.7 update that has just came out today on Steam Beta, meaning that it is already now on the PC. It is due to come to Xbox One and PS4 in the next couple of weeks, so guys, make sure that you keep an eye on my channel as I will update you when. Okay, so with this update, I have noticed that it's added in one or two new features to the game. It's actually fixed a whole lot of stuff from the base game, and it's also fixed a couple of mod problems that the Xbox One and PC have been having. But I also noticed that this patch will benefit those on PS4, at least a little bit more than the patches beforehand. So I will start off with the PS4 fixes first. Okay, so starting off with the most obvious update, we now have general optimization and stability improvements to the game, which is, you know, much needed to those on PS4. As I'm aware, you guys are still having problems with the fog in Far Harbor and stuff like that. Hopefully, I don't know, it may actually, you know, kind of improve your frame rate, anything like that. Any kind of general optimization is good for any game and for any update. Okay, moving on, we now have the ability to delete add-ons without doing a full uninstall on your PlayStation 4. So, as I believe, a lot of you guys who had problems with the DLCs, who had to specifically uninstall and install those DLCs, you couldn't do that. You had to uninstall the full game. Now, it looks like we actually have the ability to just uninstall the DLCs. I am sorry that I said uninstall quite a lot there. Yeah, that's, that, that kind of made no sense, but yes, moving on, now Jun and Marcy Long are no longer essential after completing Sanctuary, which means you guys on PlayStation 4 do not need mods to kill Jun or Marcy Long, who are big, huge pain in the asses in this game. Jun just looked like a depressed crackhead, which, I don't know, crackheads normally look pretty happy, but Jun just takes the fun out of drug addiction. And Marcy, well... <laughs> Where the fuck do I start on Marcy? Everybody hates her. Anyway, moving on, we now have vendors that can offer large shipments of ceramic, copper, rubber, steel, and wood, which is brilliant for you guys on PS4 because, you know, you guys like settlement building, and with the new two DLCs that were just released, you guys need large amounts of those kind of things to build what you want. And that's why I think that this update is kind of a good thing for PlayStation 4 users. I'm pretty happy that they've added those in. I am looking forward to them adding a lot more stuff that will benefit PS4 users not having mods in the meantime. Okay, so let's move on to the general fixes, mod fixes, and new features that they've added to this patch. So, starting with my favorite fix that they've put in this patch is... Fixed issue where sneaking would turn player invisible while running mods. You do not believe how long I've waited for this shit to be fixed and finally they've got around to it. I just hope that it's not a temporary fix and it is just always going to be fixed. As you know, ages ago when they tried to patch the dogme duplication glitch, it worked for like only a couple of minutes until you reset your Xbox and your PlayStation and you could actually keep on doing it again. So yeah, hopefully it's not one of those cases. Hopefully we will never fucking turn invisible ever again. Okay, so let's talk about these other fixes in a kind of quick pace. So first of all, they've actually added in support for the up and coming Nuka World DLC. They've also added in a new store art type for workshop settlements, as well as an issue with companions unequipping clothing when fast traveling with a player. Wait, wait what? Why the fuck would you want to fix that? What if, like, Piper was naked after you fast traveled? That would be the best thing ever. What are you doing over there, Bethesda? Come on, guys. Seriously, though, let's continue. They've also added in a new feature that allows grenades and Molotov cocktails to be used with the junk mortar from the Contraptions Workshop DLC. Also, improvements to accuracy and control when picking up objects and placing objects have now been added to this fix, too. They also managed to fix a very pesky bug in which when you would download a mod and log off, it would actually show up an infinite loading screen and that would just be really annoying. So I'm pretty happy that they've managed to fix that. Anyhow, let's move on to what mods they've actually fixed. There's not that many to talk about here, but I will go through the list anyway. They've added minor UI improvements to the mods menu and to the mods details menu, which is always a great thing as they do need to polish that before Skyrim comes out. They've also fixed an issue where mods' images would stop being displayed while scrolling through the mods menu. 
Disabling all mods now works properly when offline, so you don't have to be online to actually disable all of the mods that you have active on your game. And like I said, guys, at the very start of the video, they've now fixed the issue where sneaking would turn the player invisible while running mods. Very happy about that one. So that just about wraps up the 1.7 update that you guys will be seeing on your PS4s and Xboxes in the next couple of weeks. I'm happy to say that they've also added in a new vault Tech Workshop update, so if you guys haven't been on your Xbox or PS4 today, make sure that you do update as it does fix a lot of stuff that is broken in that DLC. Anyhow guys, thank you all for watching, if you did like this video, please remember to like it and leave a comment down below, and until next time, I've been Star Lord, uh, see ya! You can see his ball sack. They don't seem that fucking scary when you can see their little torture hanging down. But um